Hello there, I'm excited to show you a new tool we've made. It writes an entire uh, fictional story for you from a single command. Uh, we've wanted to make this for a while and a new model that OpenAI brought out has made it possible. Um, so I'm going to show you it. Well, I'll show you a book I've done first. There's a book I made using it. Um, if you want to kind of get an idea of the quality of the writing it produces, uh, I'll post a link. If you just go through and click on the book, uh, you can see the whole of the first chapter there the chapter list and stuff like that so that'll give you an idea of the sort of quality that it writes and um, feel free to buy the book <laughs> if you like and um, so this is the tool itself it works with google sheets like all of our tools and um, so once you download it um, you bought it and download it yours forever um, this is all I print, so for that book I asked about uh, to write a book about an AI called GP3, an inspired book, um, that tries to take over the world, and then what it does, it goes through it, it fills in all these blocks. Um, there's a, these are the instructions for ChatGPT at the top, you don't need to touch those, and that's just a title for you, to tell you what it's doing. Um, so it comes up with ideas, it chooses one, um, goes through things about like the writing style and what the readers are looking for, um, comes up with 10 ideas for titles for the book and chooses one. Uh, when it's running you can pause it at any time and kind of change the ideas to make it more your own book. Um, it has a go drawing the picture on it, so you can see that's the picture I did use. Um, the pictures are great sometimes, they're hit and miss, but you can, as you run it and you pause it, you can actually just delete these rows and then when it again it'll draw another picture for you and um, same when it's writing the scenes and things like that as well and um, designs all the characters uh, the character arcs um, the, so it'll change kind of throughout the book comes up with the chapter list and um, describes the chapters in a lot of detail just to help it keep track of what, what it's actually thinking about writing for the book and <laughs> um, then it breaks that down and writes scene ideas five scenes for each chapter plans the scene in more details and then actually goes and turns that into the full book for you and once it's done that you it fills in this preview so you'll, you'll see this filling in as it's right in the book um, and then once it, it, yeah you'll be able to basically go to gpt menu and export to google drive and then your book will be here and um, doesn't include the image in the exports you have to kind of upload that separately if you're posting it to amazon and um, but it does have you go to view and show outline and this box appears here and it's got little links so we can go to all the different chapters as well you can see this one i chose 12 chapters it was 110 pages long uh, for 12 chapters about 3,000 words per chapter um so yeah you can use it write your book uh, you can from here you can kind of export it as an epub if you want to read it on your mobile device share, share it with your friends um use it to write the book fan fiction you've always wanted or use it for first draft of your own book or if you edit it a lot as it's the plan and stuff like that you can kind of yeah help you make your own book and uh, whatever you want to do with it so here's if you sign up and you buy it you'll end on a, a blank version of the sheet like this and um, other than then you go to uh, there's instructions here on the instructions tab what you need to do so you need to go to file and make a copy uh, when you first land on it and that will give you copy it across to your google drive so you'll always have your own copy of it um, and then you have to follow this link to go to openai and log in with your normal details and um, get an api key which is like a long code which you'll paste in here and um, they gave everyone 18 dollars free credit initially but the credit expires so um, whilst you're on that link just check if you've got any credits if not you might need to sign up to api credit um, uses between ten and twenty dollars of API credit for each book that it writes. Um, so yeah, once you've done that, you set up. You're ready to roll. Um, I'll do it now. So I'll get to file, make a copy. And once the copy opens up, yep, you, I've already put in the API key, but you'll have to put in the API key. Then do your idea. So. Space puppies, save the world. And then uh, once it's finished loading, a little menu will appear here called GPT menu. It can take a couple of seconds when you first open it. Here you go, GPT menu and send request. When you first try and run it, um, it will give you a pop-up asking for permission to run because it's like a third party script. Well, it's our script, but it's a <laughs> third party to you. Um, so yeah, you need to approve its permissions to run. and. Um, 
it will say it needs access to Google Drive because obviously when it exports the book that goes to Google Drive and it needs to connect to OpenAI and stuff like that. So once that's approved, you have to go back in again, run it. Uh, this block will stay here for the first five minutes and then you'll see these start to populate. Uh, it takes about an hour to, to write a 12 chapter book. Um, if you scroll across, we've got, you can actually choose how many chapters you want here. So up to 20, so that'd be like a 60,000 word book. Um, after five minutes, this block disappears and what will happen is it will carry on running in the background um, just because there's a, a restriction on Google Sheets, so it has to restart itself every five minutes. And um, yeah, you can see the cells filling in. Um, as I mentioned before, you can just cancel at any point and say, well, actually, I like this idea better. It says it's a more detailed idea. And so you paste that in as the chosen idea instead, and it will just run with that. Or you can you know, modify it as much as you want. And then if you do change something, you may want to just delete the cells afterwards and then carry on. And it'll carry on filling them in. And you can do the same um, with the chapter list. Chapter list is a good one to change in terms of control in the book and then the scene plans and stuff like that as well. Um, yeah, and that, if we come back in an hour, <laughs> uh, we should have a finished book about space puppies, for example. Um, yeah, in terms of how it works, like the technical side and stuff like that, is the larger OpenAI model that I mentioned um, that stores up to um, 12,000 words. It's able to like keep track of like every single scene and what happens one after the other um, for the scene plans and then uses all that for the more detailed scene plans. And then once you go on to scene, once you go to one to actually write the book, it uses GPT-4. So choosing two different open air models, basically, to kind of get the best out of both. And um, so you've got the quality of GPT-4 for writing the chapters, and then you've got the larger memory for actually planning the book to make sure it's all you know, consistent and the storyline makes sense and things like that. And um, so yeah, that's pretty much it, I think. If, uh, to, yeah, to buy it, you go to our website, autosheets.ai. Um, it'll be under paid tools. And then if you have any problems or anything like that on the website, um, yeah, just click contact us and um, a little pop-up will appear here. And there you go. That's the best way to contact us if you want to, if you have any problems. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, happy writing. If you have any, write any successful stories, feel free to um, let us know.